All right, guys, what is going on? It is an awesome Saturday. I'm going camping. Julie is taking the Explorer to uh, our buddy Trevor up north, and uh, he's going to be installing the Lethal Springs and a hood strut set onto the Explorer. So super excited. We were kind of back and forth between the H&Rs and like the Cetas and the Lethal Springs. We decided on the Lethal Springs just because um, I think it's the perfect height for us like I I don't want it I didn't want to put lowering springs on the vehicle where it would you would still see a, a decent amount of gap I kind of wanted a nice ride height uh, so that when we do get wheels and tires for this it's gonna I think it's gonna be perfect so um, I'm gonna hand the camera over to Julie and uh, she's gonna talk to you guys and show you guys uh, how everything uh, goes on the Explorer and uh, I'll see you guys next week see ya to mention earlier is Trevor if you guys remember the blazer we had like two years ago he was the one that did all the work on it got it running and then we sold it a month later. so we got her up on a lift we already got one wheel off no. this is your sway bar link sway bar. so you'll take the sway bar link off and you're gonna have two uh, strut bolts for the spindle bolts to the strut we'll pull those out and then I've already loosened the three top bolts and then once I get these two uh, strut the uh, spindle bolts out then we can finish taking the top ones off and it'll we'll have it out from what trevor was telling me that because he was looking since this is his first explorer he was looking at you know the process on doing it and he said this is very similar to the s550s on pretty much how on the rear you gotta drop the subframe and everything and then since we're doing that with the red lined um hood struts they actually are rivets so you do have to drill into the hood which gonna be a little nerve-wracking but it actually bolts into one of the strut bolts so I figured since we're already taking them out why not just install that since Trevor has a rivet gun we just got to measure properly the stock spring out from the front and as you can see the stock one on the left the lethal springs on the right definitely a pretty big difference in height so I'm so excited to get these on how's the install going so far Pretty smooth. Pretty, pretty smooth. Pretty straightforward. It's uh, about like everything else I've done lowering springs on. So got the fronts done. Obviously, I haven't lowered it yet because we gotta do the the rears. Pretty easy install. Took us longer because we just chit chatting away. So now we got the wheels off the rear. Trevor's just getting all the tools for it. 
but we gotta drop the subframe and it should be pretty easy from what I understand to get this on. I also wanna get this guy on. This is just an ECU cover because it just comes open like that and I think it's ugly. So a lot of people get these covers. Some people put like different plates behind it so you can see the ST. I might eventually do that, but at least it will look a lot cleaner under the hood. George was kind of mad that I didn't get red, but I just want it to be a nice OEM look under there. And then we'll get the hood struts on too. I don't know if he updated. We did add this Laminex on these fog lights. It's just like a, a film that goes over it because it, they're not like bulbs. They're actual replacement housings and I don't think they've actually come out with them or like any aftermarket ones yet. So I'm still up in the air on them. I kind of like how they look off. When they're on, they kind of have a green color, but let me know in the comments what you think of them. Should we keep them? Should we rip them off? They were cheap. They are like 20 bucks on Amazon. You can get all different colors. Got the rears out and you can kind of see not too much difference in the rears, even though they're supposed to be a little bit, what, a two inch drop or something? But I guess it's just all in the compression on it. These are wound a little bit tighter too. Oh. Uh, so. That would make sense. Oh, almost fell. The anticipation. She look good. Wow. I love it. That's how the ST should have come. Yeah, they should have came like this. They should have come with a lot of stuff, you know. Lord, hood props. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, she looks awesome. Sorry I didn't film the actual install. These are stupid easy. The instructions will tell you how to do it or there's a nice video online. Trevor, will you give this install process? Scale of one to five, five being most difficult, one being easy, it's probably about a one and a half. A one and a half, there you go. <laughs> Rivet gun, some measuring, the lower, her, and then let her go. Wow, Ford, could have done that from the factory. And that's it. So we got some hood props, we got some, or not props, hood struts. Nice lowering to a, two and a half hour drive home to test it out. Thanks again, Trevor, for all your work today. You're welcome. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. 